Well, learning can happen in many different ways inside of a classroom. And for some students in Santa Ana, books and bots, well, they go hand in hand. NBC4's Hedy Chang has more on a pretty unique program for moms, dads, and kids. Every Wednesday morning at Magnolia Science Academy in Santa Ana. Parents skip the morning drop-off and instead head into the classroom with their kids. Let's keep trying. Let's keep going. And here, instead of reading and books, it's robots and blocks. We have to put something here. We go look for something. Families work together on critical thinking and problem solving using the robots they coded and built, each tiny piece by piece, and there are many. 200 or like... 200. Over 200. Just ask 11 year old Obed Ortiz who shows us what his robot can do. Move these two to go forward, move okay. this one to go um, right, and this one to go left. What surprised me the most is that how such a little thing can do a lot. All controls coded by Obed, his six year old sister. Because it's fun to build and it's fun to drive too. And their parents. I'm not a good fan of Legos or anything like that. But now that I'm in this class, it's like we're, we're enjoying it. Um, I'm learning about coding, and I didn't have any clue about coding until now. The program is the only one of its kind in Orange County, offered free to families. It's not just about building bots, but also bonds. When they're working on the robots, they can stay there for hours, and they don't want to leave. Uh, and you see that how they're focused, instead of working, uh, instead of just playing on phone, they're working on robots. The kids are so connected with these robots they built. Well, Obit named his Bob. Brilliant, outstanding bot. That's what it stands for. Kind of describes the kids who built them, too. Obed tells us he wants to be an engineer for NASA someday, and we don't doubt it. The parents, the students, and their robots, they're going to be putting those robots to the test when they compete against each other in March. In Santa Ana, Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.